Hello all and welcome back to the channel. We're still in the middle or end of the breeding season and a lot is still going on. Once again, we will focus on all the breeding that's going on with the softbills and the finches. Even though I still expect to get many more chicks this year, it seems to be the best breeding season for me ever. But let's begin and take a look of what's going on right now. We'll begin in my big aviary, 20 meters long, and at the moment with more than 100 or 150 birds. The flock of village weavers is really occupying this aviary in a very fantastic manner. Despite they unfortunately ruin a lot of plants, they make a fantastic part of the aviary. Beautiful big birds constantly singing and building new nests all over, which really gives it an exotic look. The birds already provided one chick this year, and I know both that my females are having chicks in the nest at the moment. It's very clear to me at the moment that they are consuming much more frozen insects than they usually do. It will be very interesting to see how big the flock is when the autumn comes. Other weaver species I have in the aviary is the yellow crowned bishop. As you can see here, I have a small flock of them and it keeps growing for each year. And also this year, they succeeded in bringing up several new chicks. For whatever reason, some of the chicks are thrown out of the nests while they're small, but uh, perhaps it's due to insufficient providing of uh, insects, frozen or live food. But luckily, most chicks survive and they keep rearing new chicks all the time. Even though I got chicks from the Gullian finches, the society finches, the red-throated parrot finches and the red-eared parrot finches, I haven't been as successful with the finches this year as I would have hoped. But there's still time, so perhaps we'll breed later or wait until they're inside during the winter. Contrary to this, my yellow canary birds and my red mosaic canary birds keep providing Lots of very nice chicks and keeps filling the entire every and my birdhouse with beautiful song. It's such a joy all the time. I moved two of my pairs from indoor to outdoor every when they stopped breeding to give them a summer break, but they actually just began again, so they are breeding still. For me, a first year with the focus on different kind of canary birds, it has been very successful. Another pair of birds who really enjoyed the summertime outdoor and enjoyed bathing all the time. My pair of red crested cardinals, also known as Brazilian cardinals. Whereas my indoor pair of red crested cardinals keep breeding, my outdoor pair have made a lot of uh, failed attempts because they couldn't find a place to build a nest. Both last year and this year, they kept uh, building nests where it was impossible and kept dropping eggs from high above the ground. But finally, they accepted a nest I put uh, 3.5 meters above the ground they incubated the eggs and now successfully they have reared two very nice chicks who fledged the nest yesterday. Truly a huge joy after almost two years of failed attempts. My loose and bleeding heart doves, a very nice ground dove, have been very slow in mating up this year, but finally it seems they are bonding right now, so perhaps they will try this uh, autumn and if not they will begin the next spring. I keep several pairs of budgies both in my aviary with chickens and cockatoos, and some breeds indoor. And as you can see here, my indoor pair of budgies just got a very big clutch of a total of eight chicks. They all keep growing very rapidly, so I'm quite confident that the parents will succeed in rearing the entire clutch. It's actually quite interesting to follow these parents and how much food they need to eat each day to rear so many chicks. Luckily, it's quite easy to provide uh, extra seeds for the seed eaters when they have chicks. It is much more difficult to provide the necessary live food or frozen food for the softbills several times during the day when they have chicks. And speaking of softbills, I have three pairs of pigmy robins in my big aviary. They already provided several chicks this year, and only a few days ago I saw a nest with uh, three new small chicks. So it seems this will also be a very good year for the breeding of robins. Here we have the male of the northern cardinal. His female is presently on eggs again for the fourth time, but uh, all previous times they have been blank. My breeding pair of blue eared glossy starlings are at the moment indoor, and this seems to fit them very good. I a failed attempt previously this year, but now they have this chick which grows rapidly. Once again, my biggest concern is if I can find uh, provide enough live food and frozen food for the chicks to keep growing. But luckily, so far it goes very good. Also, my pair of white cheeked Toragos had one failed attempt previously this year, 
but they are on X again and uh, hopefully they will succeed. It could be very fun and a huge success for me if the, I could have uh, ticks of the Tarragos as well. Another first time breed for me would be the Black Siskins, but luckily it seems they have ticks high above the ground at the moment. They keep going in and out after it seems they incubated them for some weeks. So hopefully I will see ticks soon. So as you can see in here, and as always, it seems a lot of very interesting things goes around when you have so many birds. I really hope you enjoyed the video, the birds, the bird sounds, and the entire breeding update. And as always, please let me know if you have any comments or questions. I love to answer them. For the remaining part of this video, I'll let you enjoy the beautiful sounds and the song of the canary birds, which fills the entire garden and the aviary these days. Take care.